Guys, what's up? This is Ari in the Air. Welcome back to the channel. I gotta tell you, I did it. I figured it out. I thought so long and so hard about it and I figured out the most important thing for you to do before you launch. It doesn't matter who you are, how good you are, where you're flying, what glider you're on. This is for everybody. You wanna know what it is? Okay, here we go. See ya. Okay, so first of all, welcome back to the channel. This is Paragliding Tutorials and awesome shit. If you like cool stuff, make sure you subscribe, turn on bell notifications, consider donating, paypal.me slash airy in the air. I do all this stuff for free so that you guys can fly better and not die. So, I did it. I, I thought so long and so hard about what the most important tip, what the most important thing you can do before you launch is, and this doesn't matter if you're the best pilot in the world or on your first flight. And I think the answer might surprise you, okay? So imagine for a second, you have hiked up to the top of a volcano with your paraglider. It is August. It is hot. It's on. It's windy. You get your harness on. You get your glider out. Kind of like, now's the only moment, right? But let's pause. There are some things that we know right now. One, your experience level, it's fixed. You are not going to get more experienced as a pilot from now until the time you launch. Two, your skill level is also fixed. Three, the conditions, they're not going to radically change over the next two minutes while you decide whether you're, not, or you're going to launch, right? So the question then becomes, how do we use all of our skills to the best of our ability? Because we've all done things where we're like, oh, I didn't have to do that. I'm, I'm better than that, right? I'm better than making that mistake. So the question becomes, how do we actually perform at the limits of our ability? Okay, and my idea here is actually, the answer really is, how do we stop undermining ourselves so that we can actually perform as well as we can perform, no matter what level that is at? Okay? The answer, there's a parallel that I recently heard about. And in 2008, Shell, like the biggest petroleum company in the, in the world, on their oil rigs, they're having way too many fatalities, right? All these oil rig workers are dying. They realize that the people are dying because of their inability to communicate about their emotions. What? Yes, Shell hired a team to do emotional intelligence and vulnerability training on the oil rigs. Meaning that people came onto the oil rigs and sat these big, burly, bearded dudes down and said, hey, we're going to have to talk about our feelings now. How do you feel? How vulnerable are you available to be with your coworkers when you are doing your job and you're not exactly sure how to do every single part of it? You're not exactly sure which parts of the protocol apply to you right now. So they come in, they give them these new frameworks of how to talk to each other, of how to talk about their feelings and their mistakes and the things that they don't know and admit when they're wrong. Their fucking fatalities drop by 80%. <laughs> okay, you can imagine that if it's this multi-bazillion dollar company looking to save their asses, that it probably was smart and it probably worked. So if Paraglide pilots are dying, then we could probably take a lesson from Shell and we could learn how to be more emotionally intelligent, i.e. understand the emotions that we're having on launch, and be open and vulnerable to express our situation with other people, no matter their skill level. That is, 
being open to asking questions, open to giving advice, open to receiving advice, open to all of these things. Literally, the thing that you have to do before you launch your paraglider is you got to be real with yourself. You got to be real with yourself. How do I feel? What am I thinking about? Am I afraid? What do I know? What do I don't know? How long has it been since I've flown? How confident am I? What am I focused on? Sometimes I find myself so freaking focused on not sinking out that if I launch and I immediately start going down, I'm going to do something stupid. I'm going to scratch way too close to the hill. I'm going to do something crazy, right? But if we are centered and we think about the whole situation that's in front of us, the whole flight, then we can say, okay, doesn't matter what happens right after I launch, I'm going to launch safe and I'm going to land safe, right? That's what's really important. Two examples of this that I see in, in, at my local site, right? One, it's myself. I find that when I was learning how to paraglide, I would be nervous on launch and, and I would just want to get it over with. I would say, okay, if I'm going to live or if I'm going to die, let's just get it over with. I'm ready to, I'm ready to try. And that would just like block me from really thinking and being with the present moment and being as good as I could possibly be. Two, there's this other guy, he's been flying for a really long time, but now at this point in his life, I swear to God, he's addicted to being frustrated and he gets out on launch and I swear he's just, he's thinking about the next thing that could possibly frustrate him and in doing so he manifests frustration i.e. line knots i.e. the glider becoming a big wad and all of these things and he's undermining his skills because he's a good pilot he knows how to fly he knows how to kite he knows how to launch but he's undermining these things with his mental attitude this is the most important thing that you can do before you launch I hope this is helpful next time you're on launch make sure you center yourself find your breath be centered don't Think about the other people that are watching. Don't think about being a macho dude. Don't think about showing off. Fucking be present, man. Like what you're doing is real. Pay attention. Be real with yourself. You're soft. You hit the rocks, you're going to splat any either way, you know? So be soft with your emotions just like you are in real life. That's how you are no matter what. And if the burly bearded dudes on an oil rig can do it, so can you. This is the area in the air. If you like this content, subscribe, turn on notifications, consider donating, paypal.me slash airy in the air. If you need a glider, I sell those. Let me know if you got any questions, put them in the comments below, answer them all. We'll see you on the next episode. Peace.